Laura Downs. I'm the uh, Vice President for Northern Ontario, and I'd like to welcome everyone here this evening uh, to help uh, help us to celebrate our 50th anniversary. I'd like to extend a special thank you to uh, Mayor Rodriguez for joining us here also and helping us uh, to commemorate uh, this really important milestone for BDC. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, Tim Whalen, our District Manager for Sudbury, who would like to say a few words. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Welcome, everybody. I'd like to thank you all for coming today, of course, to help us celebrate the Sudbury Branch's 50th anniversary. We first opened our doors at 45 Elm Street when Sudbury was booming. The world was hungry for nickel, our economy was growing at a dizzying pace, and the city's population doubled to 137,000. Like the city itself, BDC Sudbury has evolved over the years. We've been through the good times, and we've also been through some very trying times. But of course, we've always bounced back with our trademark resilience. In fact, resilience is the first word that comes to mind when I think about my hometown and our business community. Not every city can boast the kind of fighting power we have, since along with the global crisis, we've also had to deal with a major strike at our biggest employer. We can all be proud of how we consistently persevere and win. In fact, I would say that a lot of entrepreneurial innovation in Sudbury is a result of our shrinking mining operations. Entrepreneurs, like the folks that we have here today, have had to come up with different products and services that have appeal beyond our local and domestic markets. We have countless examples of companies who have done just that. At BDC, we say yes to entrepreneurs when they can show us that they have promise and are willing to roll up their sleeves and find solutions. In the last five decades, BDC has played a key role in helping credit-worthy companies here flourish and ride the economic wave when things haven't been easy. Over the years, we've come up with some creative ways to help companies navigate their way through what can be an unpredictable business environment. We do that through flexible financing and repayment terms or providing sound management advice to help businesses sharpen their competitive edge. In the past 18 months, the branch received an unprecedented number of loan applications and responded by providing record levels of working capital to eligible clients. We've worked together as partners and invested our confidence in your business because you have inspired us. At BDC, we are stirred by your success stories and that's what fuels our organization. Looking around here today and seeing so many familiar faces, I, rem I am reminded that we are a closely knit community and we have some very, very loyal clients. As you walked into our offices, you may have noticed the testimonials that grace our entrance. And if you're Sudbury born, you'll definitely recognize their names. Stainless Steel Technology, Spectrum 2000, Rock Tech, Carrier Industrial Supply, and there are others. They are a real acknowledgement to the long-term relationships that we have developed over the years. As Sudbury moves forward and diversifies its economy, we're very excited at BDC about the sheer potential of growth in Northern Ontario. The demographics here are changing. With two universities, a college and a new hospital, there's increased emphasis on education and research and development and many more professional employment and business opportunities. At BDC, we are very much looking forward to the next 50 years here. I would like to thank you all for giving us your business, extending your professional partnerships, and I want to say that we are grateful to be able to give back to this great community. I don't want to hold up the rest of the networking that we're here to do, and so now I'd like to call, call upon my colleague Patrick Latour, Vice President and Area Manager for Northern and Eastern Ontario, who will say a few words. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. Thank you all very much for coming tonight. It's a pleasure to be here celebrating the 50th anniversary of this important branch with all of you. BDC's Sudbury office is almost as old as BDC itself. BDC is 65. The age of this branch really speaks to the resilience of Sudbury that Tim was speaking of. BDC is fortunate that this city is resilient because it's so important to Canada and our economy. Sudbury is the largest city in Northern Ontario and a focal point for all our current and future activities in the region. And while it's not always easy running and managing a business in Northern Ontario, the potential for this city and the region makes everyone at BDC pretty optimistic. This region is blessed 
with much of this country's natural resources. But for too long, the transformation of these resources have taken place kilometers away, leaving cities like Sudbury disproportionately dependent on the price of raw materials. It doesn't have to be this way. As my colleague Tim already explained, the times are already changing. Value-added processes should be done closer to home. Transforming raw materials into products right here will create more companies, more opportunities, more jobs, and more services. Manufacturing companies supporting the local mining industry can also grow abroad. Aside from the opportunities and value-added processes, mining cities like Sudbury have an incredible asset waiting to be exported around the world, and that's knowledge. Decades of working in the mining industry has allowed people of Sudbury to acquire certain techniques, skills, technology, which are in demand from Peru to China. We can teach the world how, mine, how to mine more safely, more efficiently, and more sustainably. At BDC, we know that where there's an opportunity in this country, there are Canadian entrepreneurs waiting to seize it, and BDC will be there to support them. We have one mandate, support Canadian entrepreneurs. A critical component of our effort to fulfill this mandate comes from our consulting services. Aside from financing, which we're very well known for, our consulting, we have access to over 500 experts and practitioners serving as external consultants to our 28,000 clients. Our consulting services reflect our desire to create long-term capacity-building relationships with entrepreneurs. We believe in our offering relevant, helpful advice at attractive, competitive rates. In our market economy, companies have no choice but to adapt to competitive forces. And if we're talking about exporting knowledge, machinery, equipment, value-added products, <coughs> our businesses need to think globally. They need to plan, invest, and seek out markets while controlling costs. And to be able to do so, they need information and skills, and that we can help with. As the country and the rest of the world recover from the recession, proper financial management is essential to take advantage of growth opportunities. The recession taught us that the future doesn't belong to the big. It belongs to the adaptable. The world has changed a lot in the past two years, and to be successful, businesses must be ready to constantly change as well. We at BDC are confident the entrepreneurs of Sudbury and the greater region are up to this task. If we didn't, we wouldn't be here. I want to thank all of you for coming tonight. BDC appreciates the business we've received from this community and the meaningful relationships we've formed with its entrepreneurs. Have a great evening.